Well, some months later, um, I met for the first time Luca Polic. Uh, he was a guitarist and uh, he found uh, uh, something I wrote uh, on rehearsal room, like uh, uh, I need a guitarist for a rock band. And uh, he asked me, well, do you really need a guitar player? Uh, I like writing songs. I, I know what you do. And uh, I started rehearsal with uh, the same lineup uh, we had last time Simone Bresciani on keyboards, Fede Broccardo on bass, and John Lyon drums again, uh, with Luca Polic uh, instead of uh, Robbie Larcara. Luca was more like uh, George Lynch, he, he had this style more rock. Uh, um, very rock, very hard rocky. He has not a particular sound. Um, it's not like uh, Robbie Lacar that had this uh, meow, wow, wow all the time. But he uh, it, it was a very solid guitar player. Uh, Federico mm, left the band because he had no time. And uh, we took Paolo Figliomeni on bass. Paolo Figliomeni was a very, very solid bass player. He had very big sound, too much. <laughs> and uh, we started to record our new demo tape called Crazy For You.
Crazy for You is not one of my favorite demo tapes. Uh, I was uh, a flu when I recorded the vocal parts, and um, but I needed to record in that days. And after that, we started some shows. But uh, when we uh, needed to record a song for a compilation um, for a Japan um, for Japan market, uh, I don't know why we uh, called again uh, Robbie Lacar. Maybe somebody in the band said that we need the same uh, lineup we had uh, in past uh, on the leaking side. Anyway, we called Robbie Lacara and we recorded um, In Your Eyes. It was a ballad uh, composed by me and uh, Simone Bresciani. But uh, don't know why we had again something. And uh, I remember on that compilation we had um, in the rise, but with Simone Bresciani on vocals also, on keyboards and on vocals. And I put on the same compilation a song called I Ate It Too Much that I composed with Luca Polic and some guys uh, from a project that I called State of Grace.
After that, we started a strange period of time. We had some show with Luca Polic on guitar, some show with Robi Lercara on guitars. It was very, very varied. I had also this strange project called State of Grace that was more art, more, the, more mm, new, mm, modern. Uh, we had no keyboards, so we had uh, more hard guitars, more bass. Uh, I remember the, the lineup included uh, uh, some different musicians like uh, uh, Paolo Filumeni, but uh, then he left the place on bass to Cristina Allegro and then to Robbie Canillo, that later was also a bass player on Redlings. Uh, for the first time, we had uh, Luca Raffaele on drums, and Luca was also one of uh, Redlings drummers in future. And uh, we make some show also, like with the name State of Grace, uh, and also with uh, an Italian version of. <laughs> State of Grace, uh, we called the name the band uh, Vanexa. We recorded also a demo tape uh, with Vanexa uh, with the same songs with uh, Italian lyrics, anyway. <laughs>
for one show only, we have uh, one of the best guitar players in, uh, here in Italy, uh, Tony De Grutola. Uh, he played with me in a project called Exaurit, uh, that was a cover project, uh, I'm still Mr. Big, Extreme, uh, etc. Uh, Robbie Camillo on bass, Simone Bersciani on keyboards, uh, um, Luca Raffaele on drums, and uh, our mm, very beautiful friends, uh, Lorena Marchesini and uh, Chantal Valle on backing vocals. We have we had uh, uh, another real mess. Uh, Robbie Camillo on bass, John, John, John Live back on drums for uh, a show with Robbie Larcana on uh, on guitar. I need to say that Robbie Camillo and uh, Robbie Larcana together was a hell. Uh, on stage, I can I cannot hear the, the rhythm guitar. I only hear bass and guitar solos again. Bass against guitar. Guitar oh, was really an hell. Um, we started this period of time with the confusion with musicians that come and go. The, this till 1997, when uh, Franco Molinar. from Bax Records, asked me to 
and uh, the, the vocal parts his, um, of a band started uh, an album. Uh, they were the top secret. Uh, they had a Brazilian guitar player. Uh, he played with the Viper that was the Andre Matos from Angra band. And um, Luca Caracciolo on drums, uh, Franco Molina on bass. Uh, they recorded an album and uh, they wanted to like, sing all the, git the vocal parts. I rearranged the vocal parts and then made new lyrics. Uh, we added some new songs with uh, um, Simone Bersciani on keyboards and uh, Rocco Piccinino on additional drum. And uh, that was our first Redlings album, Believe. <laughs> Rocco! E non è che l'ho sentito molto, è un po' di forte, lo rifaccio. Rocco! Sempre tratto dal nostro debut album Believe!
uh, we found a sort of stability. We found a sort of uh, real stability in that period of time. Uh, we make also a good show in Rome uh, with the name R47 that was a sort of a Red Links for 1947 or Roswell 1947. I don't remember why I chose that name, but we were without keyboards, so we played also the same songs from the album, but maybe in an art version. Uh, then Kai Fulgaro from Exaurit joined the band and we started to make some good live with uh, Rocco Piccinino and Luca Caraccio that uh, took the drums. We had uh, Luca in some shows, we had Rocco in other shows. We started to play a really good show. Also Simone Bresciani was in and out from the band, but really I loved that time. 